Welcome to Best Buy New Invention Gadgets, today video, about Sony New Xperia Pro i. Sony is ready to compete for smartphone camera supremacy with the Xperia Pro i, a new camera-first 5G phone. Sony wants to be in the mix with the Xperia Pro i, less than 12 hours after Google Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro reviews began to circulate online and all the camera enthusiasts debating whether the Pixel 6 Pro or the iPhone 13 Pro Max has the best smartphone camera. The I in Xperia Pro I stands for imaging, a nod to Sony's popular alpha mirrorless interchangeable lens cameras and professional video cameras rather than point-and-shoot camera model names such as the Sony RX107 Mark 7. At least, that's what Sony executives who briefed reporters ahead of the event said to us. Because the camera technology on this device is clearly the highlight, it's perfectly reasonable to think of the Xperia Pro i as a camera that also happens to be a phone. After all, it uses the same 1.0 type Exmor RS image sensor with phase detection AF autofocus that powers the RX107, the preferred point-and-shooter of vloggers and tourists. This large 1-inch camera sensor, according to Sony, provides outstanding low-light performance, high dynamic range, and beautiful bokeh. According to DP Review, while this 1-inch sensor has a total resolution of 20 megapixels, the Xperia Pro i only uses a portion of it resulting in a 12-megapixel image on this device. The Sony Xperia Pro i has three 12-megapixel cameras on the back, one main, one ultra-wide, and one telephoto, and one 8-megapixel camera on the front. While these cameras appear to be low resolution, a Sony representative explained that they have fewer but larger 2.4M pixels that capture more details, have a wider dynamic range and have a greater depth of field. The company appears to be confident that it does not need to compete on higher megapixel counts. The Xperia Pro rear eyes cameras are outfitted with three Zeiss glass lenses. Its main 24mm lens has a dual aperture f2.0 and f4.4 that allows you to quickly change the depth of field to produce authentic bokeh, as opposed to the digital software-created bokeh effect produced by other phones. The Xperia Pro i uses the same Bions X imaging processor as Sony's A9 professional mirrorless camera for sports, allowing it to take burst shots at up to 20 frames per second, as seen in recent Sony smartphones such as the Xperia One 3. This is a unique smartphone camera that can quickly autofocus and track human and animal eyes in real time in both stills and videos. Sony claims that the Xperia Pro i is the world's first smartphone capable of recording 4K videos at 120 frames per second and preserving all 120 frames. While other smartphones can record 4K videos, the frames are frequently compressed into a smaller file, limiting your post-production options. The 6.5-inch 2119-3840x1644 OLED display on the phone side of the Xperia Pro i has a refresh rate of 120 Hz and a slim 21:9 aspect ratio. It is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8885 5G processor, and unlocked models should work on most 4G networks around the world, as well as sub 6 GHz 5G. There's 12 GB of IAM, 512 GB of storage, a micro SDXC card slot, and a 4500 mAh battery that charges quickly at 30 watts. Despite its premium and modern specifications, the Xperia Pro i retains a 3.5mm audio jack for creators who require a microphone 
as well as a strap hole for inserting a wrist strap for security. The Xperia Pro I will go on sale in December 2021 for a whopping $1,800, $1,599. That's the same price as Samsung's flagship foldable, the Z Fold 3, and $200 more than Apple's iPhone 13 Pro Max 1TB, which costs $1,599. It costs more than Sony's $1,300 RX107, and the same as Sony's $1,800 full-frame A7C. Sony's goal with the Xperia Pro I, on the other hand, is to provide a device that can do it all, combining the quality of a dedicated point-and-shoot camera with the thin 0.35-inch 5G phone.